Be honest. How many times have you ignored the urge to pee because you were stuck in traffic in the middle of a meeting or too lazy to get up? In the United States, millions of people do this every single day. But what if you keep holding your pee for too long? Here's the scary truth. Your bladder isn't just a storage tank. It's a delicate organ with muscles, nerves, and blood vessels. And when you force it to hold urine longer than it should, the results can be painful, damaging, and in rare cases, even deadly. Welcome to Health Facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment as we reveal exactly what happens inside your body when you hold your pee for too long. What happens in in the first few minutes. When your bladder fills up, stretch receptors in its walls send signals to your brain. Normally, once it reaches about 8 to 10 ounces, you feel the urge to go. If you ignore it, bladder muscles contract harder. Pressure builds against your urethra. Discomfort begins almost immediately. In the US, doctors say most healthy adults can hold pee for about three to four hours max, but beyond that, the risks grow fast. One hour of holding it. After an hour, your bladder walls are stretched tight like an overfilled balloon. The kidneys keep producing urine, adding more pressure. Blood flow to the bladder muscles decreases, making them weaker. This is why Americans often often describe bladder pain or cramps after long meetings or road trips. It's your body screaming for relief. Several hours of holding it. If you keep resisting, urine can start backing up toward the kidneys. This increases risk of urinary tract infections, UTIS. In severe cases, back pressure can cause kidney damage. In fact, US hospitals report ER cases every year of people developing kidney infections because of holding urine too long, especially during work shifts or travel. Travel. What happens to the bladder? Your bladder is a muscle, but like any muscle, if overstretched, it weakens. Long-term habit of holding pee can cause bladder distension. This leads to incomplete emptying. Even when you finally urinate, some urine stays behind. That leftover urine becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to chronic UTIs. Doctors in America warn that people who constantly train themselves to hold pee may permanently weaken their bladder bladder, the dangers of infection. When urine sits in the bladder for too long, bacteria multiply fast. This leads to urinary tract infections, UTIS. Symptoms include burning, pain, and cloudy or foul-smelling urine. If untreated, the infection can travel to the kidneys, causing fever, back pain, and even sepsis, a life-threatening condition. UTIs are already one of the most common infections in America, and holding pee makes the risk even higher. Extreme cases. In rare but documented U.S. cases, holding pee too long has caused bladder rupture. The bladder literally bursts under pressure. Severe kidney infections leading to hospitalization. Life-threatening blood infections. While rare, these cases prove just how dangerous it is to ignore your body signals. Why people hold pee. In the U.S., common reasons include long commutes and traffic jams, work environments where bathrooms Bathroom breaks are limited. Students embarrassed to ask for a break. People holding it at night to avoid getting out of bed. But the truth is, none of these reasons are worth the health risks. What to do? Always listen to your body. When you feel the urge, go. Stay hydrated. Concentrated urine irritates the bladder and increases infection risk. Limit caffeine and alcohol before long trips since they act as diuretics. If you know you'll be stuck, plan bathroom breaks in advance. Prevention tips. Don't train your bladder to hold more than it should. If you often feel urgency or pain, see a doctor. It may be a bladder condition. Practice healthy bathroom habits. Empty your bladder completely and don't rush. And remember, holding pee should be the exception not the habit. So what really happens if you hold your pee for too long? At first, it's just discomfort, but the longer you wait, the higher the risks, infections, kidney damage, and in rare cases, even a ruptured bladder. Your body is built with signals for a reason. Ignoring them is like ignoring a fire alarm. Welcome to Health Facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment if you learned something new today. Because in America, where busy lives make people ignore their health, this simple reminder could save you from serious harm.